Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back, my friends. This is part two on my mini series on how to start a YouTube channel from scratch. In today's video, I'll be going over on how to build a following, on how to build a banner for your YouTube channel or a thumbnail, and also how to edit your YouTube videos using iMovie. Now, I also wanted to go over on how to deal with those negative comments that you see all the time. So let's get on started right after you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more videos. Let's get to it guys. So first things first, how do we ignore all the negative comments? Now, no matter how big your channel is, how small your YouTube channel is, you are always going to get negative comments, no matter what. Because after all, YouTube is filled with people that are able to just sit behind their computer desk with their keyboard and just type away all that negativity. So what do you do with that? So the first thing that you have to do is to not let it affect you. You have to keep in mind that you cannot please everyone. And also do not forget the people that are always supporting your channel. So you have to appreciate those people the most. The best thing that you have to do is to just seek strength from the positive comments and those supportive people so that you can just deal and forget and move past that negativity that other people bring to your life. Another thing that you can do is to just reply to those comments with kindness. Because after all, and we do have to remember that those negative comments are actually kind of helping your YouTube algorithm. Because the more engagement that you have in your video, the more YouTube is going to push that video out there for more people to see. So invite those negative comments, invite them, bring them on, we accept them all because it does help the YouTube algorithm. And also at the end of the day, we cannot forget that mindset is going to be a huge plain part of starting a YouTube channel and just growing it to a thousand or 10,000 subscribers. So you have to make sure that you don't let all that negativity affect you and affect your future with making videos. Now next, we are going to take a look at how I edit my videos using iMovie. Now, just in case you didn't know, my first 25 videos on YouTube were filmed edited and published straight from my cell phone. So if you don't have a laptop or you would much rather use your cell phone, that is totally doable. And your cell phone is literally more than enough. And again, this proves that you only need your phone to get started with a YouTube channel. But for today's video, we will be using the desktop version of iMovie. So let's hop right into my laptop to show you guys how I go about editing my YouTube videos. So first things first, we are going to open up iMovie. And as you can see, we are going to be working out on my test like stock video, which by the way, if you haven't checked that out yet, please do so as I talk about Tesla stock. Anyhow, we are here in my iMovie. And so this video was already filmed. Now we are going to edit it. So for that, we are going to drag this and we are going to put it on the browser to create movies and we want to expand it. So one of the first things that I like to do is I like to go over and just cut the pieces that are blank. So this just means that I'm not going through them. I'm just checking my camera and I'm just going over the bullet points that I had planned to go over on this video. So again, I just do this my first time around going to the video, I cut again. So after I finished cutting, I don't really do much editing on my videos, but what I like to do is I like to kind of fix the color saturation and also a little bit of the lighting on that. So obviously I'm not gonna uh, take you guys through the entire uh, video editing process as that would take a really long time. So after I finish cutting all of my video, I go in here and then I post whatever text I need to put or any sort of graphics right so usually after i finish cutting i would do this process and then what i like to do at the very end i also like to put my background so that people can subscribe and look at my other videos and youtube will usually allow you to put this for 10 seconds yep so there is that Now, I don't really like to do much editing on my videos because I've gotten comments saying that I edit my videos way too much. So I took that as a good criticism from someone that watches my videos often. So you also want to know how to take 
good criticism on your videos. Now, the next thing that you want to do is to optimize your YouTube channel page. There are three main elements that you need to set up. You need to set up your channel art, your icon, and your about section. So really quickly, I want to show you guys one of my favorite YouTubers channel page so that you can compare and see what it is that you're kind of missing on your own channel page. Here we have Andre's channel page. As you can see here, he has his very straightforward channel art, his icons that show his Instagram page and other pages, and his about me section. It's very simple and super straightforward. And if you see here on my page, I have my channel art, my icons, and my about me section. And one of the main things that I like having here is that subscribe button so that you can let know people how and where to subscribe to your channel. And if you're having trouble making content for your channel banner or any other creative work that you need to have done, I highly recommend going on Fiverr and having that done. So really quickly, I wanna show you guys how that works. So let's hop right into my laptop one more time. So as you can see here, we are on Fiverr.com and what you want to do is just search uh, YouTube channel art. And they're usually very, very inexpensive. And this is what I've actually done to create my own channel art and just some of the other graphics that I have on my YouTube channel. Right, so these are usually $15, $10, and all of these vary on price and also experience. So these are all great and you can't really go wrong with picking any one of these. Now next on the list, we are going to have how to get YouTube subscribers. Now this is probably one of the simplest things that you have to do, which is to just ask people. Really, this is the simplest tactic that many people forget, but it's one of the most important ones that you need to do to grow your channel. If you want people to subscribe to your channel, then you need to ask them to do it, like right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to like for that YouTube algorithm, just like that. Which brings me to how to build a YouTube following and an audience. So this is one of the things that I've noticed so much growth in my YouTube channel after I started doing it, which is to just communicate and interact with the YouTube community. You really wanna be able to interact with your audience because those are the people that are going to get you to that first 1,000 subscribers and also get you those 4,000 watch hours that you need to get monetized because YouTube creators are the most active people within the YouTube community. So some of the things that I like to do is just to go on someone's YouTube channel, watch their video for at least two to three minutes or even 30 seconds, but just make sure that you watch some of that video and leave a very nice comment under that video. Don't forget to comment, like, and if you haven't subscribed to that channel, subscribe to that channel. That will help you build your network and also your audience within YouTube itself. And I've said this before that the YouTube community is one of the best communities out there within social media because you get to interact with all these great people depending on what your niche is. You are almost basically trying to achieve some of the same goals that you have. So next, I wanted to go over the right time to post your YouTube videos so that a YouTube algorithm can pick you up. Now, when you first start out, you don't have to worry about the right time to post because the main thing that you have to focus on is making content and just putting your videos out there. So the first 15 or 20 videos, just put them out there and forget about the rest. But after that, you really wanna take a look at your analytics because depending on when your audience is active the most, that is when you really want to start to publish your videos. And for that, I am gonna take you through my analytics so that you can see exactly how I go about posting my videos at the right time. So here we are in my YouTube analytics. And if you're not sure how to get there, you should just go to studio.youtube.com and it should take you to your dashboard and just go down and click analytics and it should take you there. So here we are in my analytics and we are here. If we go to audience, we can see that so for this video, I actually plan on publishing it on Tuesday. I am filming right now on Monday. So on Tuesday, I'm going to publish this video and it'll be published at around uh, 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. because that is when most of my subscribers are active on my YouTube. See, so this is a great way to determine what the best time is for you to publish your video. 
because if you publish it here at 10 p.m. on Tuesday, you are not going to get that much engagement. So you really want to see where it is that you get the most engagement so that you can just get the best out of your YouTube channel and make sure that you always check out your YouTube analytics. So another day that I could post or that I usually post actually right now is on Fridays because I usually get the most engagement on that day as well. So trust your YouTube analytics and make sure that you're basing majority of what you're doing on data and numbers because that's what's going to bring your channel more subscribers and it's going to make sure that the algorithm picks you up. So if you haven't started a YouTube channel, I would highly recommend that you guys do. But remember that it does come with some work actually a lot of work in the beginning and throughout the process but it's very very well worth it so if you have any questions on how to start a youtube channel or how i edit my own videos please leave them down in the comments down below and i will get to them or maybe just make another video and add it to this mini series so again thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more until next time